Superman at all. Welcome back Dominators, Domination Tips. I have some quite interesting news for you. Um, like you probably know, the Atomic Age will be revealed in some weeks, probably in some months, but it's not very much time until our next age will be revealed. And uh, we have some more detailed information, or I have some more detailed information, um, some more explicitly content to see uh, what of new upgrades, uh, troops and even world wonders are awaiting us and so let's go in due to the fact that i am not uh, anymore a facebook user i was unable to get to the uh, facebook page to read it directly from the internet but i have some active alliance members which uh, took some screenshots for me and so we can go through it by the screenshots um, let's read it out uh, we bring st this is directly from the Dominations uh, Facebook page, by the way. We bring uh, two new unit lines to the game that are emblematic to the era, the helicopter and the armored personal carrier APC. The helicopter is a flying siege unit that deals damage at a distance that outranges most defensive buildings, but is fragile, fragile if it comes under fire from defending troops. So we see, guys, there are some quite new... Um, troops which get implemented to the game and like we saw before um, due to the uh, the newspaper article where the atomic age got revealed the, one of the troops will be the helicopter and also the APC exactly like uh, we expected in our la last uh, update video about the atomic age and what we can find out from this information over here that the um, helicopter will be a flying siege unit probably something like a flying um, cannon or even artillery and it deals damage to um from a from a far distance and can outrange nearly most of the defensive buildings that thing uh, that means i'm quite sure towers even uh, redoubts cannon towers and something like that will be outranged i don't think that mortars will fire to the helicopters but here is another very important fact and you see uh, it can get under fire from defending troops so probably i'm not quite sure is the helicopter anymore an air unit or even not because um currently our, fo our foot troops or our troops at the ground, our infantry guys and tanks and something like that are unable to shoot to flying troops. But the um, helicopter, I'm quite sure, will be a flying troop. But nevertheless, the helicopter can get under fire due to this uh, article over here from defending troops. So I'm very looking forward what this uh, will mean for this uh, flying um, vehicle. There is also another vehicle we expected from the newspaper article to be uh, implemented. The APC, so a personal carrier, is a sturdy ground vehicle that deploys new heavy infantry every few seconds and lays down covering fire with its machine gun. So that means we have another kind of troop transporter. Um, in the global age, there you were able to uh, research or to upgrade the troop transporter as an air unit, which can spawn... Um, periodically some uh, parachute some paratroopers to uh, support your army and now we have also it seems like we have also some kind of tank wagon which is using um, um, a machine gun to also deploy some troops uh, deploy some troops for you and uh, give you some very important reinforcements we can read over here um, covering fire with its machine gun so I'm quite sure this effect will be uh, very similar to the effect of our um, machine gun troops from the factory. That means they are um, slowing down and even decreasing the enemy damage. So like uh, probably like moving barbed wire in the game and you can use them. I think the troop limit uh, in which you can use them is very high because spawning some infantry guys in a periodically time means that you can get nearly um, nearly uh, infinite infinite amount of uh, reinforcements and that's very strong if this um, vehicle will not get destroyed and so i think the um, the capacity of this vehicle will take you very many slots of your troops but it also sounds like a very strong vehicle because our transporter which is deploying our parachuters or our paratroops right currently in the global age does not can shoot it's only a passive vehicle which can deploy some troops but the apc seems to be an active vehicle which can shoot and even uh, give some covering fire for the rest of your troops, probably with very low range, something like three or four range, I'm quite sure. But um, it also can deploy some troops, so it seems very important for the rest of your troops to use it. 
Um, both vehicles you mentioned, the helicopter and the APC, are very powerful when carefully protected and used with combined arms tactics. That is probably a secret hint to some new tactics. And um, until now, you got in every age a new tactic. So it's very obvious, or I think it's only a logical, um, lot in logical thinking, you will see that there is will be a new tactic in the um, in the atomic age. And I'm quite sure there will be a new top, a new war tactic because uh, until now, in every age there was re which was released, a new tactic came to us. It's also time for a new set of world wonders, uh, the United Nations, the Pentagon and the Atomium and the Sydney Opera House. So we have some uh, really more futuristic world wonders and even the Atomium was the world wonder we could spectate or which we could see in our uh, newspaper article um, about which my last, um, I think it was a Let's Farm episode when we read out this article about the Atomic Age. But the Atomium was quite the world wonder we could uh, spectate or see at the newspaper article. And here stands now. My personal favorite is the United Nations, which, sp which spawns peacekeeping force of all unique units from different nations. The UN also provides free random national trade goods every day to keep fueling your coalitions. So that seems very interesting. We get uh, explained one of the world wonders very much more in detail than all of the under others and so we can see from the one of the world wonders the united nations building the complete um values and you will see or you can see easily <clears throat> it spawns um a peacekeeping force of all unique nations troops and that's very strong i i don't i'm not quite sure how many troops will get spawned because it's way overpowered but if you have if you think about getting some uh, some british troops which will depend, I think, um, on on the stage you have researched, quite probably. I'm not quite sure on which stage the uh, spawned troops from the World Wonder will depend, but you will get some uh, British uh, Blackwatch or even a Royal, um, Royal Riflemen, or you can even get some Korean troops, some Chinese, some tanks from the Greeks, some tanks from the France troops. So I'm thinking, I think it's very overpowered if there will, be, will spawn more than one unit. So I'm not quite sure. We will see. Um, and you can also see the UN building also provides three random national trade goods every day. So that means the first world, world wonder, which will grant you a bonus to your uh, trade goods, your national trade goods. So um, before, all of the world wonders only gave you a, or granted you a bonus to the uh, ordinary trade goods. But now we can also stock up or get some additional national trade goods, which is very important for players which are often in the world war and burning down all of their national trade goods. Let's read and go on. In addition to work on the atomic age, a lot of hours over, over the past few releases have gone towards improving the core game experience. Uh, um, game experience from fixing bugs to small improvements in the user interface. We have fixed the majority of issues with um, missing war loot and will be rolling out improvements to stability over the next few weeks and in the next update. So that means um, missing world war, uh, missing world war loot um, seems to be fixed and I only can say um, in, firma, in former times I had very often missing world war loot but now it did not appear any time, so probably it's right and they were able to fix this bug. Um, I'm very happy and looking forward whether this will still um, keep in this position or whether it will go back and I also again lose some war, some war loots like uh, in, in former times I had it five world wars um, after another to lose my war loot, but now it's not uh, happening anymore. I'm very happy. Um, where we were. The next update also resolves issues surrounding recent error networks, which you can read more about here. Yes, that's a very um, severe problem because currently very often um, you get some network errors which are without any warning. There is no yellow spinner or not, nothing at all. You have stable um, WLAN or internet connection and nevertheless it crashes and all of your troops are away. That's, uh, that's very sad. However, we are still working on war replays. Oh, that's very cool. 
which I now comes as a disappointment to players that are highly engaged in the world wars. To be straightforward, when we took a deep look at the problem, we uncovered some actually architectural issues that have been more difficult to untangle than we had hoped. We deeply apologize for the delay, blah, 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 blah. So there again, um, apologizing. And I think it's also, it's again using... Um, lasting some more time so before we get war replays i think they are now it's the first time they really mention or they really telling us they're really telling us that uh, they are working to get some war replays before there was only a yes war will replays will come but we don't know when but now they are very explicitly telling us that they are working on the problem and that they have recognized that there are there are some um some hard problems with the uh, World War replays, but that also means that they have um, tried to implement them, and that's a good point, I think. Um, yes, that were all informations I could uh, give to you. I think it's very um, informative and very important, because I, for myself, was very happy to read about new troops which were which I were be, um, being able to use, and uh, even the new World Wonders, which are quite exciting, because they are only released all two ages, so that means in the uh, global, in the Enlightenment, in the um, medieval and something like that, you are not able to get a um, new World Wonder, but all two ages there will be a new one. So guys, I hope uh, this video entertained you. You got some new information, some additional, which you probably did not have before. We'll see us soon to the next World Draw, which will be uh, very awesome, by the way. That uh, statement can be highlighted by the highly uh, uh, glory relation. We can win 1,100 glory and only lose 357, so we are... Um, taking war or taking action against viking army level or placed at uh, place 47 in the world so a very strong uh, alliance obviously let's see what we can do about them see you soon guys